enough fellow reps from I wish. So we're here. And like, same thing. With the tournament, right? Like, whenever I have tournaments, the week leading up, maybe two weeks leading up, I'll be doing like deep half guard, like a lot of that stuff. You might see it again, like, come these weeks. But right now, um, I'm just trying to like, grow from week to week with like a nice principle, like foundation, which I was lucky enough to have with me, with Gracie Humatai, and I think it's important to see. So this is what we're gonna see from now on. So building off the cross collar choke, okay? We're here, boom, and then I cross collar, right? Sometimes, People like might defend this, okay? So when they defend this, I'm gonna like keep my, anytime I open my guard, I'm gonna keep my knees pinned, right? Boom. And I'm gonna turn on my side here, and I'm gonna bring my one knee. It's not gonna go across the hip. If it goes across the hip, they can push you down, right? So you're gonna bring it up on a 45, and the knee's gonna be like, on the shoulder. My foot's gonna be hooked on the hip. If your partner tries to go this way, right, it's hooked on the hip, so you can just rotate with that. Go back. If it wasn't hooked on the hip, they can just go this way, pop over. So you always have to have those hooks, right? Boom, 45, hand in the collar, okay? This hand is gonna be on the elbow, or it's gonna be on the wrist, okay? Pistol grip, whatever grip you like. For this case, I'm going four fingers in, right? I'm gonna come up, right? I'm, I'm falling back and I'm loading my partner on me. As I load him on me, I pull his arm, right? From here, if I just fall back and I just pull the arm a bit, like really try to like resist. Ugh, it's hard. But if I'm here and I pull him like on me a lot, it, it loads him up. It stretches his arm up. The more stretch he is, the more it takes some of his core and his base away. So I'm here. Boom. See, so yeah, I'm in guard. I do the cross collar to get fence. I turn on my side. I get the one leg on the 45, the other leg's going to be by the knee. Either grab the wrist, or I'm going to grab right here, the sleeve, okay, four fingers in. Going to come up on my elbow. I'm going to fall on my shoulder. As I do that, I'm going to basically pull his arm so far back, boom. Gets his weight on me, it loads him up. And then from here, I scissor my feet. As I scissor my feet, boom, I punch, and then I'm gonna come up and mount. So one more time, boom, we're here. Okay, so I do the cross collar, he defends, I turn on my side, I get this on 45, I grab his sleeve, and come up. Right, I fall back. I like to like fall back too. Don't just fall back and stay tight. Right, extend your back. Boom, and pull that when you extend it. And scissor those feet. From here, pull yourself onto now. Boom, start working that jump. Whatever, okay? Also, too, once, so do that a few times with your partner. And now, look, it's like everything comes in an attack sequence. So we're here, cross collar, right? Boom, he defends. I go, I pull, boom, he defends. Boom, cross collar, he defends. Right? You gotta like cross if 
if you're using Gi Jiu Jitsu, right, and you're not relentlessly like cross collaring, right, it's like you're missing, like a cross collar for me is like a jab in boxing. So if you're not constantly setting stuff up with chokes, right, or setting some up with like limbs to get chokes, vice versa, right, you're missing out on a whole bunch of the gi. You may as well just do no gi. Any questions with? No? Let's work that. One, two, three.